the individuals that I interacted most with at Bay Aging uh, were options counselor Holly Gallagher, mm -hmm. Melissa Blake, and Brooklyn Jarrett. Mm -hmm. And I found each of them uh, to be mm -hmm. professional, very helpful, and compassionate. In my view, they were the exception to the rule. If I called for question or concern, they returned my call within a reasonable amount of time. And when they were in the office, they answered the phone. When they were in the office, they answered the phone. <laughs> they were not evasive, nor did they make excuses. They worked to find solutions to problems that I raised. And they worked to answer questions pertaining to the budget. They were patient, helpful, and they were respectful. I appreciated the manner in which they performed their jobs greatly. For our family, this program provided greater choice, greater flexibility, and greater control. Each veteran deserves greater choice, greater flexibility, and greater control. I was able to dismiss, fire, uncommitted workers who demonstrated a pattern of arriving late or not arriving at all, and who continually performed their job in a manner that, that did not parallel the expectations that I, I had set with them. I also found it extremely helpful that Bay Agent ran the criminal background checks on prospective employees. I am grateful that my father was a participant in this program, and I respectfully offer the following recommendations that may be beneficial for other veterans in the future. Please increase the veteran's budget. When a veteran can no longer perform any of the ADLs, and this is well documented and evident to everyone reviewing the veteran's medical file, increase the budget. It absolutely, absolutely should not matter whether the reason for the decline in the health of a veteran is a neurological disorder or some other reason because the end result is still the same. The veteran can no longer care for himself or herself and it is shameful to delay needed resources. Consider other factors, such as the age of the spouse. My mother is 97. The health of the spouse. When requests for increases in the budget are made, consider automated processing of timesheets for those families who have access to a computer. And lastly, I would say uh, to all programs that benefit veterans, designed to benefit veterans, Treat all veterans through our actions and our policies as if they are the most important, valued human resources that our nation has. And I thank you for this time. Thank you, well, thank you Ms. Dr. Leverett. Um, and we are taking note of those recommendations and we'll I'm sure be sharing them with the VA as they look at their program.